Good morning, YouTube friends. Uh, today is the first of the year, and we're going to get this year started off right. Uh, for today's project, for January the 1st, 2024, we're going to turn this embroidery hoop into a trash bag for my machine. I've got this sparkly material right here, and I'll show it to you in a minute. And when I bought it, I had no idea what I was going to do with it. And I need to use it up. For one thing, I just like sparkle. Um, and what I'm going to do is uh, cut me out just enough to go around here. And it should be real simple, but then again, I guess we'll see. Okay, um, here's my little piece. And, of course, it's uh, got a cut out of it there. But that's okay because I think the middle of it, or I could just cut it off and make it straight all across. But anyway, I'm going to cut me off enough to go around here. So I'm not much of a measurer. So I will just say from that line to that line. So it's pretty much just, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just go ahead and cut it all the way down. And it's better to have too much than, than not enough. So let me get that cut out and I will be right back with you. Okay, I've got that cut out. And I said from line to line, but what I meant was from, if you can see, they, they have like little lines in between the sequins. So that's what I was talking about from line to line. But anywho, I am going to flip this over, right sides to right sides. And I'm just going to do a, a little seam right down the side of that. But I think... What I'm going to do, this was at the very top, this piece right here, it's, it doesn't have any sequins on it. I'm going to cut that off and probably use that as a, as a tie, I guess. Or maybe I could use some ribbon, I'm not sure. But anyway, i got to get it tied to my machine. So, let me, let me, I don't know if I can cut that off or not. Let me, let me, uh, let me run it down the serger and I'll be right back. All right, I've got that done. I had blue uh, thread on my surgeon machine, but I didn't think that was too bad. I mean, it's going to be on the inside, right? And it's a trash bag, too, so who cares, right? So, I did not cut that off, but I still may. I don't know. Let's turn this inside out. And, okay. So, put this one. Am I in focus? I guess I am. I see myself. Okay. Um, this way. Pull it through here. And then push it around. There we go. Ha! Look at that. So far, so good. Okay. Well, see, that did make a pretty good little um, edging for that. But when I go to put this on... I don't, now, oh, see, it fit real, look at there, it fit good, that's probably going to be the easiest project ever, okay, um, I don't like this brown, so what I did is I dug out in my paints, and I got some, the closest to this purple that I could find, right there, and I'm going to, I'm going to paint this, Excuse me, I'm having a coughing fit. Okay, uh, it's brand new, so the plastic's still on it. I won't bore you with that, so let me get that plastic off. I think it's matching pretty good. Matching way better than I thought that would. So, let me finish going all the way around that. Okay, so I've got it painted all the way around, and it actually matches really good so what I'm going to do now is take my handy dandy little craft and blow dryer and I'm going to dry it uh, blow dry it I'm going to blow it. I'm going to dry it <laughs> and I'll get right back to you all right it's all dry and I think it matched really well you see so I am going to slip that right on here get that edge down pop that on And now, all I need to do is get me, a, um, I think I'll cut me out another piece of this so it'll match and make me a little string so it'll hang on my uh, 
sewing machine, I gotta have some way to secure it to put my little trash in. So I think I'm gonna cut me out and get rid of this. I think I'm gonna cut me out a little piece of this that's that's on there and it's gonna match so I'm gonna cut me a piece out I don't know if I should do two pieces or one piece uh, I think I'll do two so let me cut that out right quick gonna be right back all right I got it cut out about this much oh, hoo -hoo. And then I'm going to cut it in the middle. Now, I'm going to take it to my machine and just run me two little stitches. Well, two little stitches. Two little lines uh, to hold it on. You can see right through there. And then that will give me something to tie it to my machine me with. Uh, so let me let me do that. I don't sense a uh, single need in taking you to my machine just to run two little lines. So I'll be right back. On the other hand, what I thought I'd do is show you how I'm putting that on there. So I took it off of the hoops, and uh, here's my two pieces right here. And I'm just going to pinch that up right there just a little bit. And in the center of both of them, I'm just going to put one right there, pinch that one up, and I'm going to put this one right here. And now I'll sew it on. Okay, I'm back, and I got them on. But I will be honest, I'm glad I didn't take you to my sewing machine because that stuff wants to crawl and it was a little harder to get on than I thought. But at any rate, um, I didn't do two little uh, strips across. I did like a square to make it stay on really good. So we're going to put this one in and pull it all the way down. And, okay, so I've got that part on. All right, just trying to get it to where it's even all the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to pop this one on the top of it. Now, I'm going to tighten it up just a tad. That little thing right there, if anybody don't know what a broadering hoop is, that tightens it up. So you can get your fabric in there but I'm sure everybody knows what that is okay now I've got my two ties right there <clears throat> but you know me and bling bling and I think I might add me a couple of little bling blings across here just to match this right here and give it a little pizzazz hold on all right I found these uh, I thought maybe I had some pink or purple I mean some well some purple I don't think pink would have Pink might have been okay with it, but at any rate, you know, I could have just left well enough alone. But if there's a sparkle or a shine somewhere, I gotta add it. So I'm gonna put this all the way around, and then we'll be ready to uh, put it on mama on my machine. I don't know if I can see if you can see that, but anyway, it's looking cute. I know it's just a trash bag, but. You know, I'm in here more than anybody, and if it makes me happy, it makes me happy. Uh, so I'm going to finish going all the way around with that. And then, so here is that uh, edge that was at the top. And I started to cut that off at the start, but I didn't, which I'm, it's a good thing because that come in handy. And then I got these tied on in the back right here. And so that's going to be my, my tie. So let me finish putting my little bling bling around, <clears throat> and we'll tie it to my machine. Okay, here it is. From the all finished with it and I'm just ready to put it on my machine now you know these right here make uh, will make a good uh, car caddy as well or a good car, car trash bag it's not a caddy uh, yeah just stick that over your gear shift and you've got your little yourself a little um, trash bag so let's <clears throat> let's get it on okay I need all the room I can get in here because my craft room's a little small so um, you got to make do what you can. Now, I know everybody don't like to bling bling like I do, but, you know, do what makes you happy. You know, if it's whatever type of material you like, then use that. I happen to like this, and here's a little sparkle in my room. Now, whoop, that bow don't look too... Oh, there we go. Okay. So, what say you? Let me give you a close-up.
Well, I hope you enjoyed my um, sewing machine trash bag today. I sort of like it. And uh, like I said, just use any material that you like that makes you happy. And just two of those, uh, well, actually, it's just one. It's not two. It comes in two. Uh, embroidery hoops. And you got yourself a little trash bag. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for watching. And hit those buttons down there below. I appreciate it when you do. And until my next video, thank you very much.